Welcome to another lecture by Medical Medics, Learning Made Easy. Medical Terminology, Chapter 3, Anatomy Specific Terminology, Part 2. In this lecture, we will discuss a brief overview of the nervous system, common nervous system terms, the GI tract or the GI system, the endocrine system, the urinary system. We will do a practice and application run and end with a summary. So in this lecture, we will explore medical terminology related to the nervous system, which covers our brain, spinal cord, and nerves, the gastrointestinal system, so our digestive tract and its accessory organs, the endocrine system, hormones and glands, the urinary system, covering the kidney, bladder, and associated structures. So let's begin with the nervous system. The nervous system controls and coordinates body activities. It consists mainly of the central nervous system, or the CNS, which includes the brain and spinal cord, and then we have the peripheral nervous system, PNS, the nerves outside of the CNS. Now going back to medical terminology here. So we have neur, meaning nerve. And if we add logi, again we have neurology, study of nerves, or study of the nervous system. Encephal, meaning brain. If we add inflammation, meaning itis, we have encephalitis, brain inflammation. Myel, meaning uh, spinal cord or bone marrow. So if we say myelopathy, we mean spinal cord disease. Cerebr, meaning brain or cerebrum. If we say cerebral, we are talking about something related to the brain. Some common nervous system terms then. Neuropathy, so nerve disease. Nerve and pathy. Encephalopathy, so encephal meant brain. Pathy comes from pathology, so encephalopathy, brain disease. Cerebrovascular accident, meaning stroke. Cerebro is brain, vascular means vessels. So an accident of brain vessels, essentially stroke. Myelitis, inflammation of the spinal cord. Now let's look at the gastrointestinal system then. So the GI system is responsible for digestion and nutrient absorption. Now this is incredibly brief but this is not a physiology course, so we will just go through this very briefly. Now, the major components of the GI system include the esophagus, so it's the food passage to the stomach. We have the stomach itself, where food is broken down, and then we have the intestines, where nutrient absorption and waste elimination, etc., et mainly occurs. So going back to terminology then, we have gaster, meaning stomach. If we add inflammation, we have gastritis. Enter, meaning intestines. If we have inflammation, we would say enteritis. Hepat, meaning liver. So, if we have inflammation, we would say hepatitis, liver inflammation. Call, meaning bile or, or gall. So, if we say cholecystectomy, we mean the removal of the gallbladder. Cholecystectomy. Common gastrointestinal terms. So we have gastroenterology, meaning the study of the stomach and intestines. We have gastro, stomach, and enter, intestines. We then have logi and the combining vowel. Hepatomegaly means enlarged liver. Hepato meaning liver, megaly means enlargement, so hepatomegaly. Cholelithiasis, so gallstones, chola meaning bile, lithiasis meaning stone condition, so gallstones. Another one is colonoscopy, viewing the colon. Colon is just colon, and scopy, visual examination. So 
colonoscopy. And then let's move on to the endocrine system. So the endocrine system produces hormones that regulate body functions. The major glands include the thyroid, where metabolism is regulated, the pancreas, where we have blood sugar control, the adrenals, stress response, and metabolism. Now you can discard this right now, because in your physiology course you will uh, cover these in depth. Now, important roots. So thyroid is the thyroid gland. If we have an inflammation, we say thyroiditis. Pancreat, meaning pancreas. Inflammation, pancreatitis. Adrene, meaning our adrenal glands. If we say adrenalectomy, we mean the removal of the adrenal gland. And finally, endocrine, so hormone secretion. If we say add logic to it, we would have endocrinology, so study of hormones. Now some common endocrine terms then. We have hyperthyroidism, meaning overactive thyroid. So hyper here would be excessive. Thyroid is thyroid, so hyperthyroidism. What would be the opposite of that? Well, we said hyper above. If we want to say below or under, we would say hypo. So hypothyroidism. Then we have hypoglycemia, low blood sugar. So hypo meant low. Glyc comes from sugar or glucose, sugar. Emia, blood or a blood condition. So hypoglycemia. What would be the opposite of that? If we want to say high blood sugar, we would say hyperglycemia. Now let's move on to the urinary system. So the urinary system eliminates waste and regulates fluid balance. Components include kidneys, which is uh, our filtration spot. Then we have the bladder, storing our urine, and then the urethra, whereby urine is excreted. Now important roots here. Nephr is kidney, so nephrology is the study of kidneys. Ren also means kidney, so if we say renal failure, we mean kidney failure. Cyst, meaning bladder, so cystitis means inflammation of the bladder. Urethra is the same as urethra, so if we have an inflammation, we would say urethritis. Now, some common urinary terms then. Nephrolithiasis means kidney stones. So, lithiasis comes from stone or stone condition. Nephr is kidney. Cystoscopy, so viewing the bladder. Cyst was bladder, scopy meant examination or visual examination of something. Then we have hematuria, whereby we have hema, blood, urea, meaning urine, so blood in the urine, hematuria. Uremia means excess urea in the blood. Now to some practice and application. So decode the following terms. Neuroendocrine. So neuro meant nerve, endocrine, hormones. So when we say neuroendocrine, we mean nerves regulating hormones. Hepatomegaly. Hepat came from liver, megaly, enlargement. So an enlarged liver. Cystitis. Cyst was bladder. Itis was inflammation. So bladder inflammation. And let's end with a brief summary here. So the nervous system covered the brain, nerves, and signals. The gastrointestinal system, the digestion and waste removal. Endocrine system, hormone regulation. Urinary system, waste filtration and fluid balance. And that's the end of this lecture. Continue now to chapter number four.